This is a video for how to go about placing an image through the canvas or decal functions in Fusion 360. You'll notice that I have an automata box right here. Um, I have, you know, uh, an example of an image that I have wrapped around the object, which I'll show you how to do here in a minute. And I also have an example of an image that's like a hallway tile right here that I've placed through the canvas function. So I intentionally left, for the sake of this video, these two surfaces blank. And these, both of these objects right here are caps. And they're the same thing. I've copied and pasted them into this assembly. So you're going to notice once we place an image here in a minute via the canvas function that it will show up on both of these surfaces. So when you go to insert, there's a lot of different options. And you also have something up here like at the moon and some mountains, and it's called a canvas. And I'm going to click on canvas. And I'm going to go to insert for my computer, and I'm going to click on logo. And I'm going to say, okay, like I just have an image placed there called a logo. It's our school logo, and I'm going to place it. And you'll notice our school logo is upside down, and I can flip it vertically. I can also flip it horizontally, but in this case, we have kind of a symmetrical image, and I just kind of want to keep it the way it is. I'll flip it back again. I want to see that Lafayette right there. And you'll see a little red line around, and there's different things you can do with the image. You know, I can drag it up and down and scale it vertically. I can scale it, scale it horizontally as well. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave that here. You can make sure that when you render, it shows up. You can click on the renderable object. And that's something you could do just to place just a two-dimensional image. Notice that I can't wrap this around the object. Like I'll intentionally, you know, drag out, and it's going to go outside the boundaries of the surface. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it just as a canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and say, OK. And there's our object. So in another video, I showed how to do motion links. You know, and now when I animate my model, I have my images rotating. It's kind of cool to see you know, those images staying on things. So if we wanted to wrap this object around, you know, around, you know, wrap this, excuse me, picture or image around something, almost like we were wrapping a gift for somebody, we're going to go to our rectangular prism. In this case, I have created one and I'm going to go to insert. And we're going to go to decal this time. I'm going to go to insert from computer and I'm going to put that logo on this particular object on this surface. Now I want to flip it vertically. I want to move it to where it's a little bit more centered, let's say. And I want to scale this, and I want to wrap it all the way around the object. And if I grab a hold of that little corner and I drag, you're going to notice that it goes all the way around the object. It kind of runs into itself on the back. Um, kind of like you, like I said, like wrapping a gift. You see some of those images kind of morph into each other in a way. You know, you can wrap a decal around a cylinder. If you have a company logo and you want to wrap it around something, this is a way to do that. And you can scale it by holding onto this image part right here. Pretty cool thing, you know, you can flip horizontally, vertically as you go through. Um, you can make it more, you know, you know, opaque, make it a little bit, you know, of a watermark as you place it on something, a lot of cool features with this. So placing images on objects and components, I should say, in Fusion um, really adds to the color and to the bounce of the object as opposed to just doing the appearances and the colors. Again, so like my automata box that I've created as an example here is supposed to be someone walking down the hallway at our school. I intentionally gave them four arms just for the, just for the you know, image of the, you know, revolute constraints that we placed, but those images wrapping around really add to the visual elements of the automata box. So this has been a video for how to go about placing images via the canvas and decal function in Fusion 360.